All right, this is uh, Haka Says over at Eric Dollard's EPD Laboratory, and uh, we're doing some preliminary experiments to try to set up a telluric communication station. So what we have here is uh, essentially, uh, we'll start with a basic uh, ham radio amplifier, leads into a, a multi-band uh, Pi tuner, uh, Battery power currently, just for simplicity, uh, outputs up to about 50 watts. Uh, that runs into this impedance matching transformer, which uh, we had to spend a lot of time experimenting with to try to find the proper ratio. And uh, even once we found the proper ratio, we find out we might have the wrong core material. So continued experimentation. Uh, but the primary side of the transformer uh, goes to the ham radio side. It's the red and black, and then the black lead, one of those leads goes up to the bottom leg of this Tesla coil, or an extra coil if you want to describe it that way. The other lead of that goes to what is an RF amp meter, which goes to this ground lead, which goes to a pair of very large uh, former fuel tanks buried in the backyard. So. The experiments that we're trying to do in the short term is basically to maximize the uh, connection to the ground to the point that the current is high enough, uh, the current would be substantial enough that you would start getting reception at a long distance by unconventional means. So I have this tuned up to the 160 meter ham radio band. Uh, if I tune it on and turn up the power, you will see the RF amp meter start to climb and it's probably pretty hard to make out on the camera but the uh, output is just over it's about 1.2 to 1.3 amps of current and if we back up you can see there's a uh, field strength meter that's now quite high and then if we back up a little bit more you can see a fluorescent tube will light quite readily at some fairly significant distance away. I think that's about seven or eight feet. Probably getting uh, shunted because of the metal that makes up the uh, wall of the building. Uh, but anyway, the goal is to get uh, more substantial ground currents, but uh, waiting on uh, additional ferrite and uh, additional experimentation. Uh, one of the factors that we think is going to have the largest impact is to take this entire setup and essentially move it outside. And if we move it outside, by moving the entire system outside to the tanks directly, the vertical risers on here can be uh, can act as ground points so the Tesla coil that was demonstrated can be uh, connected with much lower resistance and much lower ground impedance which uh, potentially would get us significantly larger ground currents which uh, is, what we're, is uh, what we're after. So uh, we'll see what the next couple days has to bring. Uh, fingers crossed and maybe we'll get some successful reception at a significant distance. So anyway Thanks.